Hey everyone, welcome to Automatic Reviews, I'm Mark. And before we get started with the unboxing today, I just want to encourage you to follow me on Instagram at Automatic Reviews, and of course to subscribe here, because why not? So, let's get to this unboxing. And guys, this is a real unboxing. I haven't actually opened this yet. It's not one of the, like, it's not a re-unboxing, so I'm feeling impatient. I want to get this thing open, so let's get to it. All right, so here is the package. Uh, all the way from Japan, it, it took only um, two less than two days to arrive here from the time when I, uh, I ordered it to uh, when it came to my door. And, um, you know, it came with a lot of updates and stuff by email from, uh, say, Japan. They updated when it shipped. Uh, I got notifications when it was delivered and all the rest, not only from DHL, but from, uh, say, Japan. So... Um, I th it seems like their customer service is really good so far. I've heard nothing but good things about them. Um, and my experience so far seems good. I haven't even opened the package yet, though, so we'll see how that pans out. But it's an extremely neatly packaged uh, box. As you can see, the tape is done perfectly and evenly. And I know that seems kind of like trivial, but I think it goes to show an attention to detail and care. So I do appreciate that. And we have inside here a catalog for uh, Seiko watches. We have the um, Seiko turtle on the cover and some just awesome. This is just going to be something that's going to make me want to buy a ton of watches. So uh, this is the devil's work. And what do we have in here? Oh, a, a microfiber cloth. Uh, it's branded Asaya Japan. Uh, I will put that to use for sure. And... Uh, bubble wrap around the uh, watch box what looks like kind of a typical Seiko watch box um, and there's a sort of like a ring of, of bubble packaging around the, the box so this is this was packaged well for sure so here we have it uh, an outer, a, sort of a white outer box. And you pull this up, and inside you have a more proper watch box signed. And manual, and yes, instructions, and manual, warranty information, and all that. And inside here we have the amazing, I hope it's amazing, SARX. 035. I'm going to get it out of the packaging. It has a reputation for being a really superb watch, and I'm hoping that that is true. It is on a pillow, uh, some plastic wrapped around it. It is part of the Presage series of watches. Uh, I'm going to get this unwrapped. Oh, wow. Jeez, this is really nice. Uh, so you know, the, your regular tags, your price tag, stuff that's uh, designed for retail. Now this is a um, Japanese domestic market watch, um, meaning that uh, yeah, being a uh, being a Japanese domestic market watch, that means that ordinarily this watch would have um, only been sold in Japan, and they don't normally sell it in North America, but um, I ordered it in to Canada through Seiya Japan, as I mentioned earlier, and I, um, because I wanted to have uh, this particular model, the uh, Japanese market models are known to be of higher quality, and um, also you just get designs that you don't get here, so to me that was worth it, and hopefully that's the case. I'm gonna, um, take the plastic off i think i'm going to resize the watch like i'm going to come back with it resized it i'll do a wrist shot um because if i try to resize it on camera i tried to resize a bracelet on camera once and i did not post it because it was a total debacle so it was just no it was just not worth it and i'm just going to scratch it up like it's just you have to really pay attention to what you're doing and get close and, and all the rest of it but i'll take there's a plastic film on the back of this Display back, and I'll get you some close-up shots once I've had it. Uh, once I've resized it, 
Okay, so I've resized the bracelet. It was a little bit of an ordeal as a pinning collar can be sometimes. Seiko has these tiny, tiny little collars and sometimes they, they fall out and ah, it wasn't that hard, but it took a couple minutes. So I, uh, yeah, here it is on the wrist, as you can see. And I think it looks pretty good. I haven't actually set the proper time yet, but um, it I, I did wind it. The winding is incredibly smooth. Um, this is the 6R15 movement. Uh, it's my first watch with the 6R15, so I will, uh, in the full review, let you know how that keeps time, if it's accurate and all the rest of it. Uh, as you can see, it is a lovely watch. The dial is a very dark black sunburst with a lacquer on it. It's sort of a lacquered sunburst, so depending on the light, you get uh, interesting effects. So it, it is beautiful. It seems to be really well made. I'm going to do a few close-up shots for you. This is not the full review, but I'll give you a few sort of macro type shots and so you can have a sense for what this watch looks like up close. So there's a close-up view. You can see at certain angles, the sunburst is, is very... Um, obvious and then at other angles it sort of it sort of turns to like a sheet of glass almost um, because it is it is lacquered and um, it looks pretty impressive in person and you can have a kind of look at some of the details it does look pretty well made here's the back of the movement under magnification let's see if we can see the balance wheel there is working away. Unfortunately, it's dusty. I'm not going to get into too much detail right now because uh, I will be posting a, a, a review in the future, but this just gives you a bit of a close up look. Okay, so that was it the unboxing of the amazing SARX 035. I'm going to do a review pretty, pretty soon. I have a few more reviews coming in between uh, then and now, but because uh, I want to, you know, give it time. I want to wear it. I want to see how I feel about it. But uh, yes, I will be posting a review in the near future. So subscribe if you want to see that and other content that I'll be posting soon. So come back. Come back. Come with me. Come join me. Come on. Get in my van. Is that, can I say that? Is that just, is that like, it's like creepy? I don't know. What can I say? Bye. <laughs>